Hey everyone, today I'll be showing you just how easy it is to replace windshield wiper blades yourself. If you took your car to a car shop, they'd love to give you an estimate that is a ridiculous amount of money. For example, I got this quote that costs $80 just for parts, and you can see that the labor is $0 because it literally takes no time to do the replacement. So the first thing you want to check is whether or not you do need to replace the wiper blades, and in general, it's pretty easy to spot. You want to look for an unevenness in the blade itself, any cracking, and you can see mine's is well overdue for a change since the ends are already split. There isn't really a hard time frame of when you want to replace it. It all depends on the driving conditions and the climate that your car is driving in. In general, you know you need to replace it if you see a lot of streaking when you're using them to wipe or if they're making a loud squeaky noise across the glass. Once you've identified that you indeed need a replacement, you will need to identify what type of wiper arm you have. The two most common is either the J-hook style or a pin style. So the one I have here is the J-hook style, and that's because once you remove the blade itself, the wiper arm is actually in a hook shape. Two typical J-hook style wiper blades will either have a tab here in the middle for release or some kind of latch style that you can open up and insert the J-hook inside. Once you've identified the type of wiper blade that you have, you just need to find the right length. So some cars have two different sizes for each blade. For example, on my Toyota Corolla here, the driver's side is 26 inches long and the passenger side is only 16 inches long. So that was the two criteria that I used to buy new blades. The hook style as well as the lengths. I chose the clamp-on style for my replacement because I think this is just easier to install and remove in general. With your new blades in hand, now you can go ahead and start the replacement. The first thing you want to do is protect your glass in case that the wiper arm falls down on it, so you want to get something like a towel to cushion the end of the wiper arm. Now on to removing your old wiper blades. If you have the button style one, go ahead and press down on that button and then pull the wiper blade towards you so that it will slip off the small end of the hook. If you have the clamp style, go ahead and open up the clamp and slide down the same motion to pull it off the small end of the hook. To install the new blades, you just want to do the opposite, so for the button style one, you go ahead and insert it on the small end of the hook and then push upwards. Make sure you hear a click. Then for the clamp style or latch style blade, go ahead and open up that latch and then insert blade facing outwards into the small end of the hook and then pull upwards. You want to make sure that you hear a firm click. If not, the latch will not be able to close anyways. Don't try to force it. Go ahead and pull upwards once again and then the latch should be able to close. Now you just want to go ahead and do the same thing for the other wiper blade. Don't forget to move that towel first. Then once again, remember to pull downwards to remove the blade and then push upwards to install the new one. And that's it. Simple as that. There's your new wiper blades installed in probably under 5 minutes and under $20 as well. And just for kicks, here's what the old wiper blades sounded like. And now here's what the new wiper blades sound like. And look how shriek free the new blades leave the windshield. Please give this video a like if you found it helpful and subscribe for more videos like this. Now go replace some windshield wiper blades.